Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making an easy recipe for potato and cheese flautas. It's going to be easy and delicious. Okay, so today I am going to be making um, rolled tacos, taquitos, little flautas. Here I have 12 corn tortillas. I'm going to microwave these to make them easier to roll. I'm also going to be using instant mashed potatoes. If you have regular potatoes, I mean fresh potatoes, boil that, make mash those up and season them how you like. But I'm trying to use some pantry uh, items and I had this so I'm going to combine my instant mashed potatoes with eight ounces of shredded pepper jack cheese because it's what I have in my fridge. Definitely use the cheese that you have on hand and yes, that is my son in the background. <laughs> So I'm going to start uh, preparing these. Okay, so before I prepare the potatoes, the package calls for one cup of water. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder and a half teaspoon of minced onion that's been dried and dehydrated and give that a mix. Now I'm just going to add it to my potatoes. So I don't want these super creamy, I just want them to be saturated basically, but you're not looking for creamy mashed potato. You want it to be able to hold its shape and texture when you fry up your taquitos so, or the flautas. So just give it a good mix. Okay, so once you've mixed your potatoes, taste it for salt. These are not overly salty and I'm okay with that, but if you do like a lot of salt or seasoning, then definitely, you know, play with the ratios and, you know, make it your own. I'm going to let these cool before I add the cheese into it. I don't want the cheese to get too melty uh, before I roll these up. So you want to cool, cool this completely. In the meantime, I'm going to pop these into the microwave until they are softened and pliable. This has cooled off. So now I'm going to add my cheese. I'm going to, I might not need to add all of it. Let me start with maybe, I'm going to reserve a cup for something else. So I would say about five to six ounces can go into your, and I should be able to make that stretch into 12 taquitos. I might look out and you know, I could maybe save it for more. Give this a mix and that's it. This will be the filling. The cheese is the is up to you. I like to use low moisture mozzarella. Um, I didn't have any, and I'm kind of staying home and just definitely using what I have in my pantry and fridge for now. But definitely, if you have a cheddar cheese, anything in your fridge, do that. And also to assemble these rolled tacos, I'm going to use this little paste of cornstarch. It's two tablespoons of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water and it's just a thick paste. This will help sort of seal when you roll the, the taquitos. And actually I'm sometimes I get away with not even using this. It just depends. Okay so just take your warmed corn tortilla. I'm going to add my mixture and just with clean hands guys just add your mixture here. And actually, I'm going to put it towards this end. And then you're just going to give it a tight roll. And what helps is if you press your filling and kind of pull back on the corn tortilla just to keep the roll tight. Kind of pull it back like that. Don't rip it, though. And then, you know, just kind of mush it back in there. Maybe I did overfill this one. And then towards the end, you're just going to add a little bit of your little cornstarch paste. And that will help it stick. That'll definitely help things adhere and keep its shape. And that's it. Just like that. Roll it up. And there you go. That is one flauta, taquito, rolled taco, whatever you call it. I've got it done. I'm going to finish the rest. Oh, by the way, you want to place it seam side down. That'll help keep it in place. Okay, so I have all of my flautas rolled out, you want to make sure they stay seam side down. I got a little excited there. <laughs> okay, so these are rolled out and I want to show you. I still have filling left, so I think 
you could get out of this six ounces of shredded cheese with that two ounce package of instant mashed potatoes and seasonings, you could make 24 of these. I'm actually going to reserve this and add two to three eggs and make potato pancakes in the morning for breakfast. Um, but definitely you can get your 24 uh, flautas, 20 to 24, I think, if you play your cards right as far as filling them. I think I overstuffed some, so I probably could have stretched it to get 24 flautas. But I'm gonna save this for later use. Okay, so I'm gonna start preheating my oil. Um, I'm only going to fill it up, well, whatever I can get out of this can. <laughs> I think that'll do. You'll want to at least use enough oil to have maybe a third to a half inch deep of oil. You don't want to deep fry these because if you deep fry these, the filling is just going to ooze out and just create a big mess in your pan. So you'll want to shallow fry these. So I'm going to let this to continue um, preheating. Okay, so basically once you see it bubble around the wooden spoon, that's a good indication that my oil is ready. It's almost there. Yeah, that's pretty good. But basically a good fry temperature is like around 340. No, no hotter than 350. I think things might burn a little hotter than that. So seam side down, carefully just place it right into your pan. Give it a chance to sort of seal <laughs> just like that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Great. And if you find that it's getting a little too hot or out of control, just adjust your heat. So I'm going to let these fry until golden brown and crispy on each side. Depending on the heat source you're using, that may take several minutes. It, it will vary in cook time, but what you're looking for is crunchy, toasty, golden brown color. Okay, so here are all of my crispy flautas taquitos slash roll tacos. These are potato and cheese with a little bit of onion and they are golden brown and perfect in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make my husband a plate. And basically what you'll want to do is just fresh shredded lettuce. And you don't have to top this with anything actually. My son likes it plain or he'll dip it in whatever dipping sauce I make if I make any. So I have some red onion, some tomato slices. I'm gonna add a little drizzle of fresh, um, this is Mexican table cream. Just like that, it goes really well with taquitos. And then I have leftover salsa, you know, I like to use my leftovers, so right on top. Or everywhere. This is a little spicier than normal, so not too much. And this is a delicious meal. Um, I also have some leftover sopita with corn in it, so I'm going to warm that up, and that'll go perfect with this. But this is definitely an easy meal idea using what you have on hand. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.